Good afternoon, everybody. This is Danielle at the National Weather Service, and we will go ahead and get started with today's weekly weather briefing. So not a whole lot to talk about as far as upcoming weather is concerned. It looks pretty quiet through the weekend, gradual warming trend as we usually see after these spring cold fronts. Um, there is another front that's forecast to stall near the coast on Monday, and that's going to bring us a more active period of weather with uh, more showers and thunderstorms, especially during the late Tuesday through at least Thursday morning period. So there's some potential of locally heavy rain, and that's really the only hazardous weather threat um, concern that we have in the next seven days. Um, and there's really not a whole lot of detail that, that we've got with that, but we'll take a look at it here in just a minute. So real quick, just taking a look at the weekend forecast, Saturday and Sunday both look uh, pretty quiet, um, clear, or not clear, but uh, partly cloudy skies with uh, no rain in the forecast, lows in, generally in the 50s on Saturday and uh, upper 50s to low 60s Sunday with highs popping out right around, right around 80 both days. So it should be pretty quiet. Once we get into next week, though, um, we are looking at a 50 to 60 percent chance of above normal rainfall um, in that April 9th through 13th time frame. So um, it looks like, you know, a front's going to come into the area, stall near the coast, and we'll see some more active uh, weather um, during the Tuesday through Thursday time frame, at least. And we are outlooked with a with some threat of heavy rainfall during the, the 9th and the 10th. That's mainly going to be late Tuesday. And then it does look like it's going to persist through at least early Thursday, um, kind of dependent on whether or not a front clears the area Thursday. So we're kind of keeping an eye on that. The amounts of uh, rainfall and the areas of greatest threat, we're going to continue to refine those as the situation becomes clearer. But just know that we are keeping an eye on some potential for locally heavy rain beginning late Tuesday and continuing through at least early Thursday. So um, before we wrap it up, I did want to, uh, we've gotten some questions about the eclipse, so we're going to go over a quick local eclipse forecast. Um, unfortunately, it does look like we're going to see quite a bit of cloud cover um, Monday afternoon. So um, on the left map, that's the probability of at least 50% cloud cover. So you can see almost everywhere has a, you know, greater, in fact, everywhere has greater than a 70% a chance of seeing partly cloudy skies um, or greater. So lots of clouds in the area, but the slightly good news, or not slightly good, but less, slightly less bad, is that um, the probability of 75% or greater, so mostly cloudy to overcast skies, is a little bit lower, only in that 30 to 40% chance. So basically, we do believe there are going to be, there's going to be cloud cover, um, but there should be some breaks in the clouds that will allow eclipse viewing in some areas. Unfortunately, it is impossible to know exactly where those breaks are going to be at this time. So um, yeah, it's not, not great news, but um, could be, could definitely be worse. As far as the rain chances are concerned, we're looking at isolated to widely scattered showers um, Monday afternoon. We can't rule out a thunderstorm or two. Um, right now, we're kind of in that period where we can really only narrow down the rain chances to about a six hour window. But given the pattern, it does look like it's trending more towards the, the later afternoon than that right around peak at the one, two o'clock time frame. So we'll continue to refine the timing of showers and thunderstorms for Monday afternoon in the coming days. Um, but right now, just looking like isolated to widely scattered. So in summary, no rain and mild temperatures through the weekend, wet conditions late Tuesday through at least Thursday, dependent on the timing of that next cold front. Um, and we're, we're keeping an eye on the, the potential for localized flooding concerns. But right now, it's just a little too far out for, it, for us to narrow down any kind of specific rain amounts or areas of greatest threat. So as that becomes a little bit more clear, we'll definitely keep you all updated. And then again, unfortunately, Monday's eclipse viewing will likely be hampered by clouds but some locations could luck out.